Wildfires raging in the west are forcing mass evacuations and road closures. And in Oregon, the flames are sparking a new weather system that's pushing fire higher than ever. National correspondent Vanessa Mashanya has the details. An imposing column of gray cloud shoots into the sky as wildfires burn in eastern Oregon. Fires, meteorologists say, that are so hot they're creating their own weather by way of a pyrocumulus cloud. We have these very intense sources of heat, and then you have the winds coming from it that are mixing up the air uh, and mixing the atmosphere and bringing that heat up through the column of the atmosphere. National Weather Service meteorologist David Bishop describes it as a convection oven. Heat and smoke from the wildfire create an updraft, which then hits cooler air in the atmosphere, creating a cloud. This is similar to how a thunderstorm cloud is made, but the intensity of the heat and the fact that it is stationary makes it different. That fire is just there. It's churning. It's caving going. So you're throwing more fuel up into the system so it can kind of develop on the zone and propagate a lot further than a typical cumulonimbus cloud. If it's big enough, it can become its own weather system, creating wind, rain, and lightning. The dry atmosphere, like what Eastern Oregon is experiencing, creates conditions conducive to wildfires. So you have lightning that can easily uh, pop out miles and miles down range of the fire itself to then again propagate that. The Durkee fire near the Oregon-Idaho state line has gotten so big that it's closed a section of Interstate 84. Crews from 22 states were battling the fire and homeowners were urged to evacuate. According to the U.S. Forest Service, there are 14 large wildfires burning in the Pacific Northwest. Parts of the region haven't seen significant rain in weeks. Right now, the Forest Service is operating at the highest level wildfire response possible. The Forest Service Northwest posting a statement by the Regional Assistant Fire Director Ed Hyatt saying, quote, this is shaping up to be another monster fire year in the Pacific Northwest, and it's just mid-July. It's still going to be another couple tricky days. With temps above the average in the eastern part of Oregon, firefighters in the Northwest continue to have their work cut out for them. From the Pacific Northwest, Vanessa Mishania, Scripps News.